host for Motor Week, John Davis. Well, hello and welcome again to Motor Week. We're glad to have you with us. One thing you have to admire about Audi is their persistence. Year after year, they keep producing some of the sharpest, best handling sedans in the world. But here in the U.S. of late, few enthusiast buyers seem to be paying attention. So for 1995, Audi has revised its lineup, lowered its prices, and created yet another hot rod, the S6 sports sedan. It combines turbo power, all-wheel drive, and unique execution. And it certainly got our attention. That's because those elements combine to make this new Audi S6 sports sedan one totally composed package on any road and in any weather. We had ample opportunity to test the Audi's proven all-wheel drive Quattro system thanks to a 10-inch snowfall shortly after our S6's arrival. Under normal conditions, each wheel draws 25% of the power, but whenever the system detects the chance of wheel slip, up to 75% of the power is instantly transferred to the axle with the most traction. For when the going really gets tough, a locking rear differential is included. And there's no lack of power from the S6's familiar 2.2-liter turbocharged five-cylinder engine. With dual overhead cams driving 20 valves and an intercooler for the turbo, output is a robust 227 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque. Delivering that maximum torque at under 2,000 RPM gives the S6 maximum grunt off the line and a super quick 0 to 60 time of 6.1 seconds. Power delivery is smooth despite only five cylinders. The 172 horse V6 and the A6 is only slightly more genteel and two seconds slower. If you need an automatic, the V6 is your only choice. The Turbo S6 is manually geared only which when the armrest wasn't in the way gave us very precise control in all maneuvers including the slow speed slalom where the S6's bulk rolls and tracks predictably and with less push than expected from an all-wheel drive model. Audi's oversized four-wheel ventilated disc brakes with standard anti-lock provided stone-cold sober fade-free stops from 60 and a good average distance of 126 feet. In replacing the 100 and 200 series, Audi also changed its mid-size model's designation. The 6 and the S6 is the new key to the size. Up front is a new grille and body-colored bumper, triple clusters of lamps, and a more tapered 6 series hood. The S6 adds beefy flared wheel wells, purposeful moldings, and a fat low restriction exhaust system. S6 buyers have a no-cost choice of 5-spoke 16-inch wheels with Z-rated radials or our test car six-spoke 15-inch alloys wearing all-weather rubber. Whichever they choose, they'll ride along in comfort and high style thanks to the S6's well-appointed sports sedan interior. The deeply sculpted leather seats remind you this is a performance car, as do all the white-faced analog gauges, both in front of the driver and just to the right. One-seated, eight-way memory power adjustments, manual lumbar and pull-out thigh support, along with a tilt and telescoping wheel, provide an almost infinite number of driving positions. Two small digital displays show the various functions of the fully automatic climate control system. While this myriad of controls brings forth great sounds from the premium Bose audio system with in-dash cassette and our car's optional trunk-mounted 10 CD changer. And while a standard sunroof isn't unique in a luxury car, this rotary control is. Audi calls it pre-select opening. Just set it and forget it. And the S6 is one of a very few cars that has a hands-free cell phone standard. Rear passengers enjoy ample room, a large armrest, and heated seats. There's also Audi's signature ski bag trunk pass-through. The wide, deep, and flat trunk floor swallows 16.4 cubic feet of cargo. Two more reasons the Audi S6 is such a great long-distance machine are low interior noise, 68 decibels at highway speeds, and EPA fuel ratings of 18 city and 23 highway. Our test loop of 24 was even better. Bettered by few is Audi's safety quotient with dual airbags, seatbelt tensioners, and ABS brakes. Plus, the S6 has the added stability of Quattro all-wheel drive, and all Audis have 5-mile-per-hour bumpers and meet 1997 side impact standards. If the Audi S6 meets your standards, be prepared to park with $45,270. That's almost $4,000 less than last year's equivalent. That's certainly in the ballpark for a top drawer luxury sports sedan, regardless of country of origin. Add in the sure-footedness of this all-wheel drive Quattro, and no wonder we're envious of those who can put an Audi S6 in their garage.